Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. In 2020, I worked over 5,000 hours, I took 15 days off, and I made 246 YouTube videos. And during those 5,000 hours, I filmed virtually every second of it. So that got me thinking it would be really cool if I took all the highlights of each day and I smashed them into one video. So that's what I did. Well, Kind of. 246 videos compiled into one makes a really long video. So we're gonna break this down into two parts. This video is gonna be the first 120 videos, and then part two is going to be the other 126. So if you wanna see part two when it comes out, you can find it right here. But that's enough for me. Let's head back to December 18th, 2019. So we're at an auction today. There is a big tractor here and a 24-year-old planter, but after looking at them, there are things that we're not interested in. This is our new news tractor. Ryan's here. He's gonna blow off the corn head. He's gonna blow off the combine, and then he's gonna inspect it. Morning. Find a bunch of stuff? Not a bunch yet, just a little bit. In other words, do we need to buy a new combine or not? No, I will be unemployed if you do that. When you went across an area that this cart went through, you would feel physical bumps. And this cart, on the other hand, it was just like going across butter. It was smooth. Now what is going on here? We have a lot of stuff to do today. It's like the nicest day it's been in like three weeks. It's 50 degrees out right now. Tiger Cat, it looks like you've been in a fight. If you're homemade and you know it ain't, you really want to show it. By the way guys, this is Roger. He's a new cat. It's kind of funny. The white semi is clean now, but I'm not. Super Trucker Parker. Keep the rubber on the road. That's about it. Okay, here we go We're on our journey up Corn Mountain. Hey, Grandpa. Hi. Thought I'd come out and see where you were gonna be at. Do you guys remember what's in this toolbox over here? Mom, does this corn costume make me look fat? It just makes you look a little husky. Dad, what's your favorite thing about working with Cole? Ooh, working with Cole? I love just being able to work with my boys. Hey, Cooper, can you check the oil in my car? Why is there corn tiltillas on your engine? Does Cole have ADHD? No, Cole does not have ADHD, and he doesn't drink coffee. He's too cheap. Oh, easy does it. You know, you want brushed? You feel good? <laughs> Look at all the room back here. So when I woke up this morning, I just had this wonderful idea thinking it'd be so awesome if I power washed today, not thinking that it would only be 12 degrees out. I just wanna let you guys know, this is the circumstance where I'm gonna run out of grease. It just happens every time. Let's take you for a drive. Get out of here. Well, we got a new one and it's the wrong one, so yeah. So, Cole's run the combine this fall and bent <coughs> shaft on these gearboxes. How in the world did cavemen get nuts off of bolts before they had wrenches? They must have had strong fingers. So when we had our corn sales and our soybean sales, that gives us an income of $1,060,000. As a farmer, we have to have faith in God because without him, we wouldn't have any of it in the first place. And our relationship with Jesus Christ is the only thing that we really have in this world and the only thing that we're gonna be able to carry with us. Therefore, it's the most important thing. And I know on our farm, praying is something I do every day. Slippery, slippery. talk about uh, new things for the planter. By the way, if you're new to the channel, we dig graves for 18 cemeteries, and we have two graves that we have to dig today. So what's going on here with the groundhog is that conveyor spins and it's got carbide tip teeth on it, and so it's basically just ripping up the frozen ground. Summer, what are you doing? I came in here to find something and I got stuck in the hose that Cole left out. Can you lift me in here? Now these are pretty kids. Say hi to the camera, buddy. Don't eat my hand. Help, help. <laughs> All right, dad, you told me you got within six to eight inches of the door. But what about this? Cole told me to come here. I felt bad for him, so I showed up. These little buggers right here, two of them, $117. 
See how he's doing on his blind side? Doing the old hot wire method, huh? I just fell! The skin loader definitely didn't stay very clean going down the road. We're gonna rebuild a new frame and try to rebuild this bigger and stronger than what it was. We wanna make sure the O-ring stayed on here. Oh, so that's how you do it. I've never been in a... Call the corn star video? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. There's a big buck coming over the hill. And my aim is trash. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna clean up all the rust and dirt that's under here. Hello? Yeah, I just wanted to say that this basement is gonna be clean. We got the main room. Oh my goodness. She's frozen. Might be a little messy, but it works. Tiger Cat, did you get in a fight with a raccoon, buddy? Ronnie showed up. See that thing right there? That's the reason why I can't pull out of the center sump. Working inside the bin here isn't the most interesting job in the world. It's very monotonous. Hey, who do we got there? Ah, the basement. We also learned that Neva is terrified of spiders. I have no idea where the trash bags went. <laughs> hey, found another rat. Where? More lunch. Ah! Roger, say hi to everybody. Looks like Ronnie's getting a load of corn. After about an hour and a half, I finally read through the entire farm program packet thing, whatever you want to call this. I just got a call and I guess the 24 hour planner is like 30 seconds away from the main heated shop right now, so I need to get down there. Oh my. This is a 24 row center fill planner. <sighs> My hands are like icicles. Oh yeah. I'm having a heck of a time keeping the backhoe fastened to the ground. You just touch the dirt and my backhoe is wanting to slide all over. So I just pulled out a nail. I need to do oil filter inventory and then I'll take all this inventory and I'll put it in on my computer. Not a whole lot of mosquitoes around here. Brum, brum, I'm driving my mom's car. That's quite the windshield wiper you got there, Dad. They got Armstrong power steering and this is Armstrong windshield wiper. <laughs> all clean. Guess who we have in studio with us? It is himself. Cole, the corn star, the YouTube sensation, joins us coming up next. Come on, run me over. He doesn't have the nerve. Keep going. Amazing grace. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dad and I have another meeting later on this afternoon, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be working in the office. Cole, you know, instead of filming all the time, you could help. That. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you to get rid of this? Ten. Look at that thing. It's like the claw. Toy Story. The last big thing we have to clean in this entire house is the attic. It is very, very messy. Hey guys, and just for one small cost of free, you could help a 22-year-old farmer in central Iowa by liking the video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did Daddy Cornstar power wash the back up? It's a new kind of air dryer. <laughs> and it's got a big old nail right there. Just look at it, it is completely different up here. In the 38 minutes of working with me, Ryan, how are my mechanical skills? Not very good, Cole. But you're a really good guy. That's an important skill in life, Cole. Oh, hi, Ryan. Oh, hi. A relationship with Jesus is not about following all these rules or having the perfect Christian routine. 
it's just about knowing who Jesus is, knowing that he's the son of God and that he loves us so much because he gave his life for us, knowing that he's our Lord and Savior. That's all it's about. So the guy showed up in that truck by himself, immediately asked if he could take you for a test run. We took it for a little spin around the block. He made me an offer. I accepted, got back in here, signed all the paperwork. And then he said, okay, I'm gonna leave my truck here and I'm gonna take that home and I'll send someone back to get this later. Okay, I guess. Now either A, this man is extremely trusting by leaving his really nice pickup truck here, or B, this is stolen. Now if that doesn't scream country, girl, I don't know what does. No more green walls. I'm gonna kind of miss him, to be honest. No. That's grind mode. Come on, Dad, you broke the door. Roger! Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Here comes Roger. Oh, there's Roger. Hey, Roger. Can you hear him purring? We're going with swamp. Swan's ice cream tonight. We're back. You nervous? Oh, real nervous. <laughs> oh boy, Roddy's getting brave. Oh, come on, my grass. Don't poke a hole in that, Dad. Now that needs to be placed on corn on bean stubble. Cole's got the list yeah. of where it should go. See you, Ronnie. Back to working on the cost of production. There he is. And just like that, you got another load. This is what it looks like inside the bin. I think a lot of us just have way too much stuff. So I feel like the more I can get rid of, the more I can simplify my life, the less cluttered my brain is. This box costs 500 bucks. And these cost 500 bucks. Apparently the planner somehow unfolded itself when Cooper was driving down the driveway. How we doing Cole? Got my fresh cut. Looking a little moppy <laughs> up top. I decided not to do the lines. I didn't want people to be that impressed by me. <laughs> Man, Cooper's going to town over there. We rented this particular excavator through a company called Readers. I'll include a link to their website in the description. You guys can go down there and check it out. Fall back in. Just really lightly. It's like we got a passenger. I'm literally riding in the bucket right now. There we go. The big old stuff. It looks like Cooper got all the closing wheels on the 16 row planner. We went with the Yetter Twister model. Black to red, red to black. Absolutely. Ooh. Now kids, show this to your parents and say this is why we should have a four-wheeler so we can be just like Cooper. Are you here for good news, bad news? Who do you work for? <laughs> I work for this little company called Ag Leader. I don't know if you guys have heard of us. Whole, them two pallets all come here? The whole works is oh. all for this one machine. Hey guys, I'm Pete Youngblood with Youngblood Ag. At least you sat there. Not, Not there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a glorious day, glorious weather. The work environment is terrible. Have to work with Cole Corn Star. <laughs> right now, it looks like Christmas time in March. Now this is brave. Drones indoors? Never, never a good idea. But we're gonna try it anyway. Supporting our dairy farmers and the cone farmers. It's 116. I've had 40 phone calls and done four stops is that before a lot here. Of phone calls or no? Just, just a lot. I usually get 120 a day. Hello. It's hot out. I'm sweating. Ugh. What's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. Did I break my chain? So as you guys know, I love efficiency. Efficiency is awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to the white truck? Traded it in. If you guys don't remember, Brandon is a champion seed. Looks like they're delivering some seed today. What's up with the yellow combine? <laughs> we don't, we don't uh, discriminate against colors of equipment here, Cole. We brought seven more crates. Little Not crates? just little boxes, but full-size crates. This is going to be amazing. I'm just so excited to show it. You can tell he's an engineer by the scribbles. We're about as hard to read as a doctor is. Hey, buddy, we're trying to make a list here. You're disrupting us. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Thank you. All right, Brent. What do we got on the plans for today? A lot of building, a lot of plumbing, 
Uh, we're gonna get a boom put on the side of here. We're gonna get a ladder so it's easy to get it on off the trailer. We're gonna make this thing look nice. Doug says the trick to these is to use spray on wax. What else? Too much muscle. So we did some really interesting calculations last summer. We looked at how long it takes to fill a sprayer and the efficiencies of the sprayer. And when you have a 1200 gallon sprayer loading in 20 minutes, it has the same productivity as a 600 gallon sprayer loading in five minutes. The guy who bought that 1200 gallon sprayer and has taken all that time spent $125,000 more roughly for that big sprayer. Could have bought a mix mate and saved himself a lot of money and enjoyed the loading time as well. It looks like RD2T or whatever that little computer is. That's the problem right there, guys. What do we have here? Probably some salesmen. Well, we got our favorite person here. About give me a small heart attack sneaking up on me like that. Hey, Jeff. What's up? You want to play some one-on-one -on -one with Cooper? Is that a 12-foot rim? Deep, deep, over the planter. Air ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was meant to put on planter parts, not yes. play basketball. We call this the one-hander. Over the marker on the planter. On the back side of the sprayer, on the back of the shop, backwards. In the tractor with the door shut. Hanging from the planter. Hey, do one outside the shop. What the? Hey, what's the Boy Scout motto, Pete? <laughs> Always be prepared. I've learned that last time. No, don't forget your wrench. Don't forget my wrench, that's right. Now we're up in the cab of the 340 and we've got several different things going on. We've got our Ag Leader in command display. We've got our Yetter controller for the air adjust row cleaners. Regular old white fold box. That's a that's a beaut. Now that we've gotten everything to the back, here's our row unit. We've gone with a Yetter twister. This is actually the cast version of the twister closing wheel. So this is gonna help break up sidewall compaction and make sure we have good seed to soil contact. We've got our Ag Leader electric drives. Then of course we've got our hydraulic downforce. That's gonna keep our downforce, keep this baby glued to the ground. And then what we've done here today is our Yetter Air Adjust Row Cleaner. All right, I'm done. Looks like the temporary windshield held up just fine. So all you do is, is you pull these two pins and they latch right over on this rail here. And then the ladder just comes on down. Pull yourself up. Super simple. Oh yeah, she's going over now. We gotta cross this bridge. Right now, dad's laying down tires. So that way we'll be riding on top of the tires instead of on the concrete on the bridge. Hey, look who it is. The crazy dog. We got Jason down here. He's going through the planter a little bit, showing us how to run it. Oh yeah. Oh, boom. It's a big old planter. Okay, here we go, first tree. Boom. Boom. Neva, what is Cole doing? The trees. Timber. <laughs> oh dear. Did that rip come up? Decided to come out here and ride with Cooper for a little bit. He's running the 24 row planter. Gotta get a rock. That could do some damage. You definitely don't want to hit one of those poles. There's a rainbow out there and Natalie is actually going to go try to find the end of it. And I guess there's a pot of mold out there. Not going to lie. 
I could use the skid loader to do this, but the extricator is way faster. So a few months ago, we had a guy come out to inspect our Hagee sprayer and he found a few things that was wrong with it. So guess who's here? It's like it's slightly rusted on there. Let's try kicking it again. You guys did that so delicately. I'd be lost without my auto steer now. I never thought I'd say that. So guys, keep in mind, right now we're in the John Deere 4840. This tractor is a 1981 and it has auto steer. No hands, and we're going straight as an arrow. You can see it on the computer here too. And if you want to overwrite it, you can just grab it easily and turn it. It's that easy. I should probably mention, if you want to get a hold of Ag Leader to get a similar system to what we have, I'll include the link to their website in the description. You can get a hold of a dealer and just call them. Tell them you want what Cola Corn Star has. They'll get you hooked up with what you need. Yeah, there he's got one. See that little little piece sticking off right there? It's new growth. We're planting beans right now. There's just a few things I'm trying to get to remember how to run. Midnight refill. It's about quarter to three in the morning, so I'm getting a little tired. Cole didn't get much sleep last night, so he looked like a zombie. Now, I'm definitely not a mechanic, but that doesn't look right. There we go, 1.10 in the morning, and we got another 95 acres knocked out. Would you just look at it? Hey, Dad, I was watching the last video of Cole's, and people are wanting to see you put on these wigs that were shown at 8.10. What? Yeah, it'd be really funny if you put one of these wigs on and showed them. Huh? But little do they know, they're just mannequin heads. No, they're not. Oh yeah, check this out. We're gonna miss her. She was a good machine. I can remember when I used to have to put my hand on the steering wheel, look around, pay attention. Not no more. Now Jordan showed up to save the day. Save the day again. Oh, he's brooming while he's rib sticking. You guys see that? This is how flat tires happen. Okay guys, so you uh, may or may not know a farm simulator YouTuber called The Squad. Well, here he is in real hey. life. Yeehaw! Tells how fast I'm going, and it tells the acres I've planted so far. The bolt that holds this gang on broke, so this just swung back. So we need to get a new bolt in here. We replaced the one in here this morning, so I don't know what's going on. Ah, it's starting to sprinkle on me. Run! As long as everything goes well, we'll get done planting today, and we'll also get done spraying. From the time we started to the time we're done, nine days. We started April 24th and is now May 2nd. And we're done, woohoo! So one thing about my family is in our neighborhood, we've always been kind of known as the messy farmers or the people who always have a ton of junk just sitting outside, really disorganized. And as someone who likes to be organized and who likes to be efficient, that drove me nuts. Well, you know what, Dad? My handle blew off. Oh, weird. Oh, hi, Anna. Come here. Hey, baby girl. We're unpacking, getting ready to put liquid system and steering in the sprayer. So once Pete gets done with this, we're gonna have Ag Leader stuff in our planter tractors, our sprayer, and our combine. Today is basement floor beautification day. Looks like you're feeding chickens. Hey, 
Ag Leader's back. I'm gonna need to replace your stocking hat today, though. What's wrong with my hat? The red's not doing it for you. It doesn't match your pit vipers. Nah, that's better. Wait, wait. There we go. You guys done yet? Just about five minutes. Hey, Bill, I'm not gonna say climbing that ladder's a bad idea, but... <laughs> that's what happens when you use a ladder that doesn't have stops in the bottom. Climbing that ladder is a bad idea. <laughs> Thank you for holding it. Sub one inch accuracy on this little guy. From the sky, it's crazy. And from the sky, he means we don't have to have a repeater tower anywhere, it just pulls it from the sky. Good job explaining that from the sky part. Dr. Cornstar. Just in case it's a bearish tone, just wanted to make sure we have a floor on, on the price. Um, we're stuck. Lacing up his squat shoes. It's about time you show up. <laughs> oh, yep. The seating will go right down in the ground. And these little wheels here press it down. Yeah, I can see my shadow. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, we were planning on continuing scrapping, but this is like one of the last days that we can go morel mushroom hunting. So we're gonna go hunting. Right there. It's a big one, too. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I found two. Look at that teamwork. We found some. Holy cow, that is pretty. Cooper's toy is coming out of the shed today. I wanted to build a porch on my house and I don't know what I need to do to go forward with it. Okay, I think what we need to do is uh, one of us probably head out there at some point, meet up with you, see what you'd like to do, take some measurements and uh, we can get, get figured. Okay, sounds good to me. Oh boy, okay, that's heavy. This is what we're working with. Can you see it outside? It's raining cats and dogs. This is the first time it's seen daylight in literally probably 35 years. Ellie, do you have anything to say? You, you don't have opposable thumbs? That's no excuse for why you can't talk. Come back here, you've went past my driveway. All right, raccoons, this is your final eviction notice. Toll scale put out. Bring it out. This was actually the first tractor that my grandfather bought. Old John Deere's, they never die. They just end up in my yard. Well, another day here. This was my dad's car. We're selling it to a really nice lady today. So looks like the car is gonna make a journey also. There goes grandpa's car now. We're here! I think that's the one.
No, you're kidding. Baby, are you serious? Yeah, I am. Oh my god, it's my motorcycle. Babe, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have a motorcycle. Looks like Daddy Cornstar's gotta get put to work. Oh, poor Daddy Cornstar. It's hard to find good wives nowadays, isn't it? It is. Hey, Dad, film me, film me, film me. Look at this, look at this. See this right here? Picking up my mess. Take notes. Caleb, not the corn star. I'm here today to provide you with a little lesson on plant identification. Why is there some orange on the farm? Well, I heard orange is your favorite color. Obviously. Exactly. So I bought you a tractor. Thanks for making me feel at home, Coop. Even comes with a loader. Wow. Today is the day. We're getting her done. All right. It's looking so much better in here already. You guys look so cute and I just want to pet you, but I know, I know it's just a facade. Go down there to pet him and he'd butt my finger off. You guys are lucky Navis here, really lucky. I think there's three of them in that hole. Two of them can get out, but one of them's stuck in there. So I feel like they're trying to pull him out right now. These are beans. This is a corn cob. Great job, sweetie. Yeah. <gasps> you pulled a flower. <laughs> It's fine, throw it out. Looks good new. Nobody to know. Um, the neighbor called and said he wanted me to mow some of his hay because his mower broke. So right now, uh, I'm heading over to get my mower. Looks like Champion C is pulling in to get their pro boxes. Also, the Ben guys are making really good progress. Hey, you stay out of my grass. Not like that's ever happened before. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, we got some cows too. No. Not impressed. I think we got every animal to mankind here. Look, we got kittens. Look at them. Hello. Hi. Coles is way over there and I'm right here. I told him to come get me, but I guess we'll see how far I make it before he uh, shows up. I'm a little impatient right now. Oh well, I guess the grass can dry a little bit more. It's the ground's a little wet, but I got flotation tires, so we're all right. I could use some exercise anyway, so we'll see how far we make it. I'm almost halfway there, you know, just walking. I'm almost out of breath. Me and my father, we drink our fair amount of pop. I've cut down to two cans a day, and I've already lost six pounds since Monday night. I'm surprised I have teeth, but who needs teeth when you can get dentures? You know, if I had a volleyball right now, I could put my handprint on it, and I'm out in the middle of nowhere, and then I could be like, Wilson! Thinking about just getting a horse. A horse will follow you anywhere. And I could just ride the horse back. How about that? Some stranger picked me up. There weren't all of our extra totes. I think that's why Cole's so late, but I don't know. We're here to kind of look at the champion corn, kind of do our early season scouting, look at emergence, vigor, and how, and how the crop is progressing here in, in the springtime. You okay? Just doing a little calibration. And we are mowing. Got our first pass going here. We'll go along the edge. We'll see what we can get done here. Well, the center link pin came out and now I'm stuck in the middle of the road. Oh man, I see a crack part. No good. I really want to pet him. I know it's probably not a good idea. I'm just gonna have to kindly evict you from the building. Man, you're not scared of me, are you? Rodrigo, what are you doing? All right, Rodrigo, come on, let's go for another ride. Come on, let's go show you to Neva. You've ridden on the shovel before. What's in your hand, Cole? It's Rodrigo. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, little buddy. Oh, we could be best friends forever. Oh, he's my best friend. I love you. Hi. Oh my gosh, that's so cute!
Okay, we brought Rodrigo back to his family. Oh, don't go in the grass, Dad. Hey, stay out of my grass. Hey, watch the grass. Rookie semi driver. That's not supposed to be that way. Grow, little guy, grow. Holy guacamole. Clean! <sighs> I might take a nap. No snoozing. No snoozing. This is serious business. Stuff to talk about. Any old crop left that we need to worry about. Just a little bit of corn yet. Well, we're gonna see if we can get this thing going. Natalie was outside and all the ones, look at her new little buddy. He acts like he's known her for two years. <laughs> he doesn't look very old and he's actually purring. We haven't seen Roger for a little bit. A couple weeks ago, Roger did shoot by the garage here, meowed a little bit, but uh, I think Roger is one of them cats that's a roamer. We'll put some food out tonight. We'll feed him and if he wants to stick around, that is okay. Oh, man. I got a little hole here somewhere in the line. I got to put in a barb. I think I got her cleaned off. Red to black and black to red. Rubber gloves to make your hands sweat up a storm. Now the first bulk chemical just got done pumping and it's moving to the second one. Probably a little hard to see with this glare, but the second one just got done. Now we're doing the last one. Now it's gonna finish filling with water. I have it set to run 975 gallons. So once it hits that, the flow meter will automatically shut off and then we'll be ready to go spray. That whole process took us four minutes and 30 seconds. And if any one of you are interested in learning more about this incredible piece of technology, I'll include the link to Praxidine's website in the description. Let's unfold and start spraying. Hey, I got the neighbor over here making some hay. Look at him go. Hey, completely random storm that's not even on the radar. We're getting something done now. We've got two drawways left. And we got two mowers going. Woo -hoo! Can't say I've ever had that happen before. We're gonna be working on Cole's dirt bike. So he wants me to put a different sprocket on it. Take a picture so we remember our marking. Torque to spec by my spec book in my head. I walked back here and walked into a big pile of rotten who knows what. And now my boots reek. Oh, yeah. oh no! <laughs> Hot. Hopefully it don't spark you. If I touch that top one, I'm gonna arc to beat the storm and that won't burn my hand too bad. What the heck's going on? Manifold, everything's gotta be burning hot. Well, let's try it and if it don't work, I don't know what we're gonna do. This mix mate that we put on the uh, semi-trailer for filling the sprayer, I was kind of scared of it when we first was looking at it. I'm like, I don't know, but I tell you, once we started putting it on and everything, I couldn't think of something better I'd want to put on there. And it's just made it so much handier to fill up stuff, not have to touch the chemicals and everything, take it right out of the bulk. See if we can get stuck. Wow, he made that look pretty easy actually. Breaking hay. So we got the baler running, they get some bales. I thought maybe Zach, you'd just start throwing them in there by hand. Prime time, baby. Okay, which pit vipers do we want? Hmm. Let's go with these. This guy, we might name him Heinz. We're still debating, but he kind of looks like a Heinz. Hi, Jamie. How you doing? Good. Good. Oh, you're just tired today. Look at you. Just don't worry. Nobody will see this. So this week I've been helping my cousin tear out some insulation and stuff in his house. And I just realized that it wasn't cotton candy and every night I'd go home and I'd be coughing and be itchy and stuff. I'm like, what is going on? This is why no one likes lifting with Noah. It's no bad, but he has a pretty bad personality too. <laughs> up and down, baby, up and down. Oh, 
you know, just changing the oil on my mystery bike. Why is it, Cooper, me and you are always doing all the filming? I know. The heck? Everything's sticky. Ah, I'm gonna show you something here. Yuck. I had a cherry Coke. Look at this. It was a brand new one. It was so hot in here today, it looks like the lid, the lid blew off. I think I'm officially done spraying the corn. Well, there we go, guys. That's what we did for the first six months of 2020. Thanks for watching. Remember, part two is going to be coming out tomorrow. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.